Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. There are those who call him Super. He is in a Super Chaffee, and his name is uh, uh, Krokovica. Krokovica! And he's only got optics. He doesn't have the low noise muffler. He doesn't have the Commander's Vision System because he's only Tier 6. You cannot get the Commander's Vision System at Tier 6. You know what? I thought I'd feature a lower tier, well, mid tier, light tank gameplay because I think this is my favorite. This is my favorite in the game. And this is my favorite shirt. The close color and emote shirt. Not available. I'm not trying to sell your shirts. It's not available. It, there was a limited edition that came out and a few lucky purchasers got themselves one. Do you want, do you want to see it? The... Uh, the full. Let's see if we can do it here. It's the Klaus Kellerman emo shirt. <laughs> Not available. I'm sorry, you can't have it. Now he immediately <laughs> moves to this little alcove. Why would he do that? Well, it's assault mode, guys. It's uh, the enemy team has to assault and he has to defend. So he could have tried to push forward and uh, do some spotting, but. You look where the enemy base, not base, sorry, where the enemy spawn is. See the number one right by where the J Panther has just appeared, who's finally found his W key. Uh, the enemies basically get this flank. I don't like assault mode, but I'm not going to do a full rant on, uh, you know, how stupid this mode is. Other than to mention, okay, very quickly, that the maps are designed to Wargaming's best ability to balance them uh, on the normal gameplay which is in this map kind of north-south a little bit like on an angle a bit but you see the map it's balanced to move north-south so that each team can get to the kind of the diagonal center and there's objectives and you get to the good hull down positions and blah 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 it's, it's kind of balanced right soon as they move the spawn around and they put a, a, a defensive base that's not symmetrical with how it's balanced, it's a shit show. Enough said, he's still going to have uh, a show us how to have an amazing game. And uh, the key, and this is why I love the light tanks, mobility, he was able to get this uh, position quickly. Um, and who is that with him? That's, uh, uh, what is that? How come I can't? How come I can't control? What is that? Oh, I thought it was a Buras, but it's not. It's a Mie. <laughs> of course, it's. Well, it could have been. Uh, the reason I love the light tanks is uh, um, concealment on the move. All right. So, I mean, there's a lot of good medium tanks that have good concealment, but they have less concealment on the move. So you can zip around in light tanks and relocate and have less of a chance of being detected, which is huge for me in my gameplay because I, I like to I like to move around, switch flanks, react to the, what enemy's doing, right? So you can, using your circles on the map, using your um, the white circle in particular, as long as you keep the enemies near the edge of that white circle, and even if you have good concealment on the move, if you have 35% concealment on the move, or 40, depending how you equip your tank, uh, even if enemies have really good view range, if they have 500 meters view range, which... When you're playing tier six, and you, you, this is the worst matchmaking you can get, right? Versus tier eight. If you assume, say, a good enemy has 500 meter view range, some will have more, most will have less at low tier. And you got, let's just say, 35% concealment on the move. You know, their 500 meter view range is reduced by 35%, even when you're moving and there's no bushes. That's 35% of 500. That's five times 35, right? That's uh, 170. There, uh, see, I did that in my head because I'm smart. Uh, their view range, not their view range, their detection ability of you. Now that guy spotted him. It's a Buras. You see the Buras. Aha, that's a perfect example. This is the worst matchmaking. The Bu Even though the Buras was what I'm just describing on the edge of his view, uh, on the edge of that white circle, which is 445 meters, Duburask is one of the few tanks that, uh, you know, tier 8, he could have it fully equipped and have over 500 meter view range. And he may have uh, Commander's Vision System. 
he may be a Muppet and sitting there with Binox. <laughs> but if he has Commander's Vision System, uh, that reduces enemy tanks, whether they're light tanks or not, reduces their concealment on the move. It does, even for a light tank. And it reduces their uh, concealment behind bushes. That kills tier 6 light tanks. That's a, You have to watch. That's, he got killed or shot by one of the only tanks that could was able to have a chance of spotting him in that situation. So that's what you got to watch for. Anyways, getting back to the story or the my my uh, discussion, uh, a light tank can move around with and maintain its concealment generally below tier eight. So tier seven and below, no one has commander's vision system. So you don't have to worry about your uh, concealment being reduced by someone. And the key is if there's tier eights in the game, like a Burask, who some of them, a lot of them have commander's vision system or a, a tier eight light tank. If you get that wonky matchmaking where Wargaming makes you a light tank at tier six, but it puts you in a tier eight game with other light tanks. And you got to assume that one of them may have commander's vision system. And the key that you must understand is if one tank on the enemy team has commander's vision system and reduces your concealment on the move and happens to detect you when you're scooting across somewhere, right? If one of them has commander's vision system, he detects you, then everyone on the enemy team sees you. My tank just exploded! Don't act so surprised, son. Tanks explode every day. And if you get detected and everyone sees you, they can shoot you, not just the white circle on the map, the yellow one, which is, you know how the game works, right? He died. He was a light tank who died. Died. <laughs> but his team, surely, surely his team will mop up. But even though he died, let's check the post-game stats here and see how he did. Let, let's just uh, watch this guy, the last guy, uh, find and destroy the SP. It's always fun to see the last player destroy the SPG. Let's see if he does it or whether he gets tagged. Where, is, where would the SPG be, guys? Where do you think he is? I'm going to guess like uh, A3 is my guess. Well, let's just see. I, I did not uh, take note of where... The, oh, there he is not a3 it's a8 boom 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 <laughs> and it's a victory as soon as he reloads so krovika he aces the tank he died but he did 1639 damage one kill uh but he did 1500 spotting assist which is uh, you know that's in my books that's fun that's fun gameplay and as you can tell i get excited i love this uh, uh light tank gameplay especially tier six light tanks because they rarely see tier eights i'm showing you in another game now where we have a t37 which is basically kind of like a super chaffy uh but he is in a tier eight game again so there could be someone on the enemy team that has commander's vision system let's have a look at the tier eights and i would say su sta1 there's probably not probably not so I would, playing this game, I'd look at the tier 8s and say, okay, it's a TD, he doesn't have it. STA1, probably not. IS-6, probably not. A heavy tank, 7032. Probably no one has a uh, commander's vision system. Probably none of the high tiers have super, super view range. Super Hellcat with Binox could have super view range. So um, I would immediately uh, look at my mini map and i'd say i can as long as i stay look at the white circle even 20 percent smaller than the white circle if i'm that far away from the enemies they probably won't see me that's how i'd start the game I, and he just dis, uh, saw detected the 703. he's in a bush so he's not going to get detected by anyone now he's waiting to see if he can detect people that are going up the hill and uh you don't play it like light chill says 703 okay so you see my kind of thought uh, uh process here i would um you could do some good active spotting in that case i would i'll draw it on the minimap i would say uh if the, these guys are too close but anyway look where my thing is that close about 400 meters like say 445 meters is the white circle decrease it by 10 percent 
Four hundred. I'd say I, I'm safe out to four hundred meters. No problem. Now he spotted the BZ. Not while firing. And I don't mean while firing, guys. I mean while moving. So I can move around the map. Now let's see if it's while firing. He's safe while firing as well. Now that's see, that's pretty amazing. So that he took one shot and then was ready to react. And now he knows that BZ, who uh, how far was the BZ? Let's see if he gets uh, an outline of, of him again. And it'll, the, the game will tell us, but he's disappeared. This is a much easier place to spot the guys going up the hill than where that STRV went. Okay, let's see. The, this guy is... Uh, doesn't the tame... Yeah, 393 meters. Whoa! 393 meters away. He's shooting, so the bushes do not provide concealment. Unless there's, like, this tree in the way. 393 is about 10% less than 445, maybe 12% less. So those enemies' view range, minus 12%, does not see him. Uh, and while firing, he probably still has... I'm going to guess... At close to 10%, maybe 8%, 7% concealment while firing. So what does that tell us? <laughs> Do the math. Oh wow. Okay, now this there's bushes here. This is beautiful. That's why I like that using the mechanics for the light tanks. So what does that tell us? Okay, he's firing. When he's firing, he has uh, let's just assume 10% concealment. He probably has six or eight, but let's round it to ten, which means uh, at 390 meters. The enemy has to have 10% more than 390 to spot him. So 390 plus 39, 429. And those heavy tanks are driving around probably with less than 429 view range. Uh, I don't know, because maybe they they're they have gunnery skills, they have repairs. They're not packing optics. Right? It's possible. They're only tier 8 light um, heavy tanks. At tier 10, he'd be spotted. There'd be some heavy tank with 450 meter view range. He'd be spotted. But this it's balanced, right? He's uh, Now he'll get spotted. If he shoots now, uh, unless the sunflowers provide concealment. If he shoots now, you're spotted. He's 155 meters away. Fire your gun just so that we can find out. Let's see if the sunflowers provide concealment. Come on, shoot your gun. Let's find out. Fire your I wish I could fire for him. Fire! He's 156 meters away, the OI. He can't see him because he's in a bush, plus he's probably got 40% uh, concealment on the mover stationary, plus 25 from the bush. He's invisible. But if he fires, he probably only has about 8% concealment. Shoot! Take the, the dead... Come on! Shoot! Oh, he didn't shoot. I would have loved to see if he got spotted. He would have got spotted. I don't believe those... Uh, unless Wargaming says the sunflower is Russian sunflowers. Very, very dense. Produce beautiful sunflowers. Uh, we fry onions and sunflower oil, and uh, therefore, is, uh, we cannot see. Uh, who, who the hell knows how the Russians would program it? But, uh, uh, you know, that's how you uh, figure things out in the game. Playing light tanks at, the, at this tier is, is, um, is a calculated... Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, look, I'm up. <laughs> and the, the reason I, I like it at tier 6 uh, is because once you get to tier 8 light tanks and above you're in tier 10 games and then a lot of this stuff does not make the same sense because uh, when you have if you're a tier 10 light tank uh, your view range isn't that much more than this guy it really isn't like this guy on the move has more than 445 he probably has you know, maybe close to 500 who knows if you're a tier 10 light tank, yeah, you can get it up a little bit more, but not percentage, not that much more. Uh, but you have less concealment, and when you're in a tier 10 game, almost for sure, there's uh, two or three enemies that have commander's vision system and really good view range. So you're not going to get this kind of concealment. You just aren't. Uh, you could be pretty troll if you're a manticore in a bush, or a bushed manticore is pretty troll. But, now, where's this 703? Okay, there's, there's, uh, 
there's stuff. That's why he's not getting spotted by the 703. And this guy's getting fantastic uh, RNG. He ammo racked someone and he's lit someone like barbecued this other guy. Wow. Wow, he's got a, a, a an ammo rack for over a thousand and a 537 uh, fire and another fire on the STA-1 for 120. This guy's got RNG coming out the ass. So you can do these mathematical calculations and in my opinion, uh, the, the most overpowered, and I, I'm not saying light tanks are overpowered, but I'm saying the most uh, unbalanced possible in the game the most, um, if you deck out your light tank fully with uh, optics and you know all the uh, uh, situational awareness, recon, the uh, what are they called? The, uh, the the things that you research afterwards. The you know the the garage improvements, uh, and, and the purple equipment. If if you put everything in your light tank, concealment. Uh, you can quickly outclass many of your opponents at tier six. Certainly, if you're fighting tier five, six, and sevens, you, if you've got your thing fully decked out and the enemies don't, there's just so much of a difference. The dynamic range is huge. You could have 25, 30 percent more view range than your opponents. You could have 50 percent more concealment than your opponents in a tier six light tank. It, once the enemy light tank is dead, you could be running around 40% concealment and the enemy heavy tanks and uh, medium tanks that are playing are uh, like running around with 10%. Now, I've mentioned Super Hellcat with Binox in the bush. Formidable opponent. Who shot him? Super Hellcat sitting in a bush with Binox and Camonet. So the, I mean, you got to know these things. So you can't just think you're invincible. But anyways, I'm saying that uh, at the mid tiers, and you're gonna die, and you die. Why would you do that? You just got spotted by the Super Hellcat <laughs> and shot, and now he types in chat. <laughs> it's your own fault. You knew he spotted you, and then you just did it again. What did you think? There he is. Look how close he is, sitting in there with Binox and Camonet. It's not possible to spot if a bigger tank is behind you. <laughs> this guy's trying to explain how the game works to us, guys. Look. It's not possible to spot if a bigger tank is behind you. If a bigger tank is behind you, it's not possible to spot. How would he spot if bigger tank is behind me? Bigger tank dazzles enemy and blurs his view range. Of course he can spot you if there's a bigger tank behind you. What the hell does that have to do with anything? He got spotted because the Hellcat was stationary in a bush with Camonet and Binox. The Camonet and Binox, no, the Camonet in the bush and the Super Hellcat is like 80% concealment. You're not going to spot him, even though you got good view range. And he's got a Binox, he's got 550 meter view range, and you're in the open. He was only like 150 meters away. So an example of a light tank player that is a, li a little bit confused about how the spotting works. But my point is, <laughs> in a roundabout way, hopefully you've got something out of this video, that um, at tier 6, if you equip tier 6 and 7, 5, 6 and 7, if you equip your light tank uh, really optimally, you can outscale your opponent's by an extreme amount, by a large percentage. Whereas, uh, if you're playing tier uh, 9 and 10 light tanks, it's much harder because you will not outscale your opponents by as much of a percentage. You will still have more view range and better concealment than your opponents, but not proportionally so much more like in tiers 5 and 6. You will not have double the view range of, of a heavy tanker. 80% you know, more concealment than a medium tank. It's more... There's not as much dynamic range at uh, tier uh, 9 and 10, so it's harder. Okay. Tier 6 and 7, uh, a T37 and a Super Chaffee in the hands of a really good player on these kind of maps, if they understand the math, they would not have driven straight into the Super Hellcat for the second time at least. Uh, and they would just, they would know 
these uh, the view range circles, the where where it's safe, where it's not. Like I would not have pushed the uh, the one line in that game. Uh, it just it's just very fun, but uh, a good try and good examples, I think, guys. So hard with style, uh, you had a great game. You aced your tank, so you know, don't complain. You did 3,800 damage as a result of some pretty good RNG. Two fires and an ammo rack. Two fires and an ammo rack. Uh, so don't complain. You made a mistake at the end, right? You made a mistake. You drove in the open while you knew there were enemies with really good view range. Usually that pack, Binox and Camelot. Sitting stationary in the bush. Like, there's always someone stationary in the bushes on the one line on that map. And it's usually a TD with Camonet and Binox. So it's not possible. There is a bigger tank behind me. How will he see me? Light gets bounced off big heavy tank. Bounced back into eyes of Super Hellcat. Would not, it would blind Super Hellcat. Would not see me. Doesn't work that way. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.